Hi friends, today we are here to learn a new segment in maths. The topic for today is shapes. Can you see here? Yes. So what do you mean by shapes? Can you tell me? We see a lot of shapes around us, right? It can be a square, a rectangle, a circle, a triangle, cuboid, dice and so many shapes. Correct? So, have you ever thought why there are different shapes around us? Can you tell me a reason? Yes. Every shape cannot be the same. Right? Can you see a door in a triangle shape? Will it look nice? Or can you see a house in a circle shape? Will it look nice? No. Because a house needs to be in a rectangle and a square form. Only then it is possible for us to stay inside comfortably. Right? So now, here I am going to take a quick view about what are the different shapes which we come across in our daily life and we will segregate the shapes based on their features and sizes. Okay? Shall we go? Yes. So can you see the board children? If you see, I have given the heading as 2D. So, what do you mean by 2D? We have heard a lot of times even in our movies as well that we see a 2D movie or a 3D movie. So, basically what is a 2D and a 3D? So, here I will just explain you in brief. Okay? So, can you have a pencil and a paper in your hand? If I tell you to draw this shape, can you draw it and name the shape? So, you can draw four lines, four straight lines, right? And the shape form will be a rectangle. So, what is the feature of a rectangle? Can you tell me how many sides a rectangle has? Correct. It has got four sides. One, two, three and four. Of the four sides, is it same or different? Very good. The two sides are same, right? So, opposite sides are equal. This side is shorter and this side is longer. And there are four sides in a rectangle. Coming to the next shape, what is this? Here, for this shape also, we have got four sides. So, is this and this shape the same? Very good. Both are not same. In this shape, we have all the four sides equal. Whereas here we have the opposite side equal, right? So this is called a square where you have got four sides and all the four sides are equal. What about this? Yes, this is a circle. Have you seen a coin? What is the shape of the coin? One rupee coin, two rupee coin. Now we have ten rupee coin as well. So what is the shape of the coin? It is a circle. Can you see any lines in the circle? Very good. There are no lines. It is just formed with a curved line. So, there are no sides in a circle. What is the last shape here drawn? Yes, this is a triangle. And how many sides a triangle has? One, two and three. There are three sides in a triangle. And why are these sides, why are these shapes called as a 2D shape? Can you tell me? Because it is drawn on a flat surface. Can you see anywhere any shapes bulging out? No. It is a, it is drawn with a clean flat shape. So, those shapes which are drawn with a flat surface, they are called as 2D shapes. And the examples of 2D shapes can be rectangle, square, circle and a triangle. These are the basic shapes with which we form the 3D shapes. Is it clear? So, are you clear with the 2D shapes? Very good. So, now we will be moving on to the 3D shapes. Can you see here the shapes drawn on the board? What is this shape called as? The first shape? Yes, it's a cuboid. Can you give me an example of a cuboid? Where can you see a cuboid? Very good. 
a match box is a cuboid, a pencil box is a cuboid, a match box is a cuboid where it has got how many sides? Can we count the number of sides here? It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So it has got 12 sides and it is one of the 3D shape. Okay. The next is a cube. What is the difference between a cuboid and a cube? Good. Here in cube you have all the sides equal. It is more or less similar like the difference between a square and a rectangle. A cuboid is formed with the help of a rectangle. Whereas a cube is formed with the help of a square. So in cube you have all the sides equal and again a cube has got 12 sides. But all the 12 sides are equal. Wherein in a cuboid you don't have all the 12 sides equal. Can you give me an example of a cube children? Very good. The dice which we use in a ludo. Yes, it's a cube and it has got the numbers printed on top of the dice. Right? So the best example of a cube is a dice. Have you seen sugar cube dice? Yes, that is also in the form of cube. The next example which we have here is a cone. Where have you seen this shape in your real life? Very good, the birthday party caps, right? It is in the form of a cone. This shape is called a cone where it's formed with the help of a triangle. Yes, but it's a curved surface. You have two straight lines and you have a curve towards the down. So, this is the best example of a cone. Can you give me another example of a cone? Where have you seen a cone? The pencil, the edge of the pencil which we use is again an example of a cone which we use for writing. The nib side, it's an example of a cone. Clear? Coming to the last one, this is the cylinder. Where have you seen this shape? Very good. This shape is found in your water bottle, right? And similarly, towards the back end of the pencil is also a cylinder shape, which is formed with two straight lines and then with a two curved surface. Understood? The last one we can also find as Q, as Sphere. So, can you give me an example of a sphere? What do you mean by sphere? A sphere is something which is in round shape. For example, a globe, a ball, football, basketball. So, all the things which are round in shape, which has got no straight lines, that is a sphere. And sphere is formed with the help of a circle. So children, are you clear with the differences between a 2D shape and a 3D shape? I hope now you are having a better picture what is the difference between the two.